Hey guys, so we're here in Lahaina, and one thing when we talk about resiliency, we talk about the ecosystem resiliency, we talk about um, uh, uh, financial resiliency, all of that. So this is Lahaina that has been <clears throat> consumed about five months ago, six months ago, by um, wildfire complicated by all the things that we know are going on, manipulated landscapes, climate change, all that kind of stuff. But what we're seeing right here is an example of the community being resilient, the community trying to heal themselves, trying to heal the anger that has been generated and worry about conspiracy theories and, 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 and different political differences and all that kind of stuff. And so this is a really cool example of the community deciding what it needed and trying to pull everyone together and to heal and to go forward. So right over here, we just had the very first, we just had the very first um, private property um, be cleared of debris from the fire so we can begin the, re the physical rebuilding. And this is a great example of the cultural, spiritual, and um, emotional healing and the network of families and everything else being healed. So this is an equally important part of the recovery process post-disaster. This is a really important thing that, that um, you must do if you hope to get back to what you had before or something better. So this is just as much a part of disaster recovery as FEMA and water lines and all that good stuff.